In this session, we are going to discuss a topic, very important, interesting topic known as external shorting. Commonly, the shorting algorithms, whatever we use, are known as the internal shorting. Internal shorting means the data items, whatever you are going to short, they are available at the same time as a whole without any fragmentation in the computing device or in the memory of the computer. So that means in case of internal shorting, the data item, whatever is going to be shorted, all those data item will be available, will be made available inside the computer's memory. Memory means here the RAM. But in case of external shorting, what happens? The data item, the volume of the data is too big, too enormous, cannot be kept in the computer's primary memory or RAM at the same time. So that's why we shall keep some part of the data onto the secondary storage, the slow running secondary storage and some part of the data will be put into the computer's primary memory which is faster in operation and there the shorting will be done and then in this way we shall fetch part by part onto the primary memory and go on shorting and then merging them so that ultimately we will be getting the full shorted data for the against the enormous data. So that is the main theme behind this external shorting. So here is the text. External shorting handles a massive amount of data. This data may be too big to fit in RAM or the memory of the computing device for shorting. So that's why the memory is not capable to keep all that huge amount of data at the same time. So data reside on the slower external memory, usually tape or say hard drive. Nowadays it is hard drive obviously. So that's why the data will reside on the slower external memory. External shorting typically uses a hybrid short strategy. So this is the uh, use, this is the use of this external shorting. In shorting phase, chunk of data small enough to fit in memory and read and stored and written out onto the temporary file. So for the external shorting, here we are having mainly two phases. The phase number one is the shorting phase and phase number two we shall be coming as the merge phase. In case of shorting phase, chunks, chunks of small data enough to fit in the memory and read, stored and written on the temporary file. So while shorting this small amount of memory, we shall be using internal shorting. In the merge phase, the shorted subfiles are combined into the single large file and will be kept in the external storage. External shorting is external merge short algorithm. So it is also, you can also call it as a external merge short algorithm. At first, we divide the file into runs such that the size of a run is small enough to fit into the main memory. So this run is a technical term. So file will be divided into runs so that the run size will be selected in such a way that it can be fit onto the computer's primary memory. The short then short each run in the main memory using merge short algorithm. So there will be having the merge short algorithm because we are having one run shorted with the data one run with the shorted data. Now I shall have to merge them to make a bigger run where the data will get shorted. So shorted data, shorted data will be merged in a bigger run size where, where we are having this particular uh, shorted data for those data deciding on, on those two runs. So here we will be using the merge short. Finally merge the resulting runs together into a successively bigger runs until the whole file is getting shorted. So this is our external shorting. So in the next video, we shall be showing you how these runs are getting shorted internally, how the runs are getting merged to get the bigger run and what is the respective complexities. So we'll be doing the detailed calculation on that. Please watch our next video where we'll be going for its implementation through one sample example. Thanks for watching this video.